We know fruit is good for us. It's nature's dessert, after all. But a 2022 report from the Centers for Disease Control says that only 12% of Americans consume enough fruit. How much should we be eating? If you think about a simple like one and a half to two cups a day of fruit, that's a good ballpark that covers the different age groups. Berries are an ideal snack, says registered dietitian and licensed nutritionist Catherine Kling Nurse. There is such an amazing amount of antioxidants, there's a great amount of fiber, and there's also a lot of water. So you're getting both a macronutrient, right, from your fiber, and you're getting micronutrients from your vitamins and minerals. Kling Nurse teaches dietetics at local schools and colleges. She also runs her own food truck, Veg Out, which serves plant-based meals and drinks. As a dietitian, work at a point of production is just a dream come true. Veg Out sits on the grounds of her family's farm, the 145-acre Nurse Farm in Westboro, which recently celebrated its 300th birthday. Mommy! The farm is well known for its fruit and its family lineage. In 1692, Rebecca Nurse was executed for witchcraft in Salem. She's a central character in the Arthur Miller play, The Crucible. In 1842, Joel Nurse invented a game-changing plow. An early model is on display in the Smithsonian. At this point, 10 generations exist. It's pretty amazing. Marsha Nurse is an adjunct professor of writing at Brandeis University. Her husband Jonathan runs the farm. His brother David is the owner, happy to be here after 45 years as a maritime lawyer in New York. Well, what do you do in retirement? My own view of it is that you keep moving. Uh, You have to have something to do. And the farm is a marvelous opportunity to do something. There's always something to be done. I always thought of Massachusetts as the Florida of New England. Here our temperatures are moderate enough, we can grow a big expanse of fruits and vegetables here that northern New England can't grow. That includes peaches. They are so juicy. You really need a napkin under your chin to eat one of our fresh ripe peaches. Virtually 80% of what we sell in the farm store is raised here. Turns out raspberries are Nurse Farm's number one crop. Close to 90% of raspberries grown in the U.S. come from California. But Westboro consumers buy local, say the nurses. They come in droves. We have about four acres of raspberries and we have about six different cultivars to stretch from uh, the 4th of July all the way into October. When you start comparing the taste of California raspberries to New England raspberries, there's a difference. Our fruit is really grown specifically for flavors. The nurses say Worcester County's warm days and cool nights help intensify their raspberries' sweetness. Farm staff use them in jams and baked goods. The chocolate bottom raspberry pie is a best seller. This variety has done fruiting for the season and now we're going through them. We're thinning out all the canes to create a really good earth flow through the bushes. They are the most perishable berry. So we have to pick them and we have to market them right away or at our pick your own. Black raspberries, which are often hard to find, are another specialty here. The problem is they got thorns on them. So dealing with them is a lot harder than regular raspberries. But the flavor is awesome. This is the problem with pick your own. One for the bucket, one for the mouth, one for the bucket, one for the mouth. (laughs) The farm also grows these gleaming red currants. We got a lot of Eastern Europeans that love red currants. They're tart. They make great sauce. They make nice jelly. Farming is tough work, say the nurses, but the reward can't be beat. Aisles of fresh fruit are always within reach. We're not going anywhere. That's the interesting thing. So many of our friends are retiring, buying houses on the Cape, spending half the year in Florida. I don't know, John and I are are here for the long haul. Nurse Farm had a huge 300th birthday party. They tell us the whole town came out to support them. If you want to try some of their berries and peaches, you'll have to visit their farm stand. That's the only place where they sell retail. Both Nurse Farm and the farm Erica visited earlier, Parley, are IPM farms, which stands for Integrated Pest Management. It's a type of farming that uses more natural methods to control insects and pests to minimize the use of chemicals and spraying. 